too much bat and DC is relying on it. I don't think I, I personally, I'm a Batman fan, right? So I don't have an issue with it, but I know it is not a healthy way to do your brand. You can't bank it all on one character, but there's also something that needs to be considered that the bat family is the most upworked family in all of comics. Nobody else has a bigger rogues gallery. Nobody else has a bigger family, so to speak, right? Because we include Nightwing. We include Joker. We include all of those titles when it comes to Batman. No other family is that big. So there is something to be said there, but I still think there is an issue where we need to go back to characters. We need to bring, I and I've been lobbying for it for a very long time. JSA. JSA. Listen to me. Stargirl. Give me some Courtney. Come on, come on, come on, guys. I want some, I want some JSA. Um, but uh, not only JSA. Well, yeah, you know what? You bring up JSA, you bring back Star Girl, you bring back Power Girl, you bring back these characters that people love and grew up with. Um, our man, you know, you can bring back Rex and Rick. You can bring back an entire family in that title. So I've got all of these highlighted, right? And this is the top 200. Before we even start, there's been a lot of talk about. Um, a lot of talk about the market share going down and a lot of talk about how it is not what it used to be. So let's, let's, before we even go through the titles, I want to show you this. So out of the top 200 DC comics has 66 titles. That is exactly where they need to be. That is exactly where they've been for years. That's 33%, right? Usually. You've got Marvel that's got, you know, 50%, DC at about 30, and the rest goes to Boom and Image and the other ones. Image is is steadily growing, um, but I love Image. I'm not going to lie. Image is so good. So out of all of these titles, we have 37 that are others, which is going to be the yellow that we go through, and then 29 that are bat. So you have a little bit higher percentage of other titles. I do think it is uneven. I do think we need to add some more to those other titles, whether it is through marketing, a marketing push for Flash or for Action Comics or for Son of Kal-El or for Titans United. All very good books that don't get the love that they deserve. Suicide Squad, Green Hell. These are amazing books that never get very, any, any, any marketing whatsoever. So that needs to change. That needs to change. They need to push these books forward and... It would probably even out more. Now, I read every single Bat book besides Batman and Catwoman by Tom King because I'm waiting for the trade. Um, And it is not clunky uneven. It is uneven. It absolutely is. But for a very long time in the 90s, Batman didn't sell. And it took a long time to get them to this point. Before Hush, before the, the series Hush, there was... The sales that were way worse than they are now. Hush really push, pushed Batman to the forefront. And now we're seeing a little bit of it. Maybe just a little too far, right? Not even a little bit too far. Uh, too far. It's too far. My theory is high price point, of course. You're making a niche market even more niche by expanding upon those prices. I believe there was like a... In the last five years, 36% inflation. That's a lot. And it's unfortunate. Batman drowning out lesser characters, superior popularity of MCU over DC, less experienced creative teams, all play a role in lesser. Absolutely. Absolutely. And if they would, I don't know. They need to pay, um, they need to. There are some great creative teams, but not not all of them are known. Right? And we need to get some, you know, to Mossy's back, right? Some well-known names. So let's actually go through the numbers. So we got She-Hulk number one. I will talk a little bit about the Marvel numbers, but She-Hulk was really good. <laughs> I really enjoyed She-Hulk. I'm going to keep reading that. I actually was very surprised. Now, from my understanding, this is incorrect also. Um, I should have brought it up. I think maybe that was for the graphic novels. But, oh, no, that was for the best of the year. So the best of the year was something is killing the children, not spawn. Um, did we talk about Son of Kal-El? Yep. Yep, we sure did. Hello, Bianca. Good morning. So 
Then we have Dark Knights of Steel. Now, I included um, Batman in that one only because he's front and center, even though it is a team book, right? Detective Comics 1047, 1050, Joker 11. I'm surprised Joker's selling so well, right? Not that it's not good, but it's just that uh, it's okay. It, it's, it's, um, I like the the weird like cannibalistic villain they're going for it just hasn't been my favorite title as of late so then we've got nightwing 88 nightwing is another book that typically does not sell this well this run of nightwing is selling phenomenally well like much better than what we've seen i <laughs> remember when he was rick grayson oh my god um yeah it is selling a lot better than it has in previous years so then we've got uh, Batman the Night, number one. That's a Chip Zdarsky book. We've got Detective Comics 1049 and Batman, or Robin and Batman. So then if we look at the Son of Kal-El, Son of Kal-El is the highest non-Bat book. And that's not anything to kind of, you know, scoff at. And not only that, but Tom Taylor, let's see here. I don't have them. Um, I don't have them highlighted, but Tom Taylor does Dark Ages, so he's got one, two, three, four. He's got four out of the top 50. That's pretty fucking good. Dark Ages is good, though, I, and I'm not a Marvel person. What actually kind of blows my mind, I'm not going to lie, and I even said this in my um, in my video, right? This book, Saga 55, is at 12. That is mind-blowing. Like, I honestly thought that would blow out Spawn. And Spawn had like 30 covers. Now, this has zero variant covers. They didn't want to come back and do a gimmick. They wanted to come back and earn it. And they did. 12 is very respectable. But I wonder if it was the three years thing. I wonder if it was three years. Top 200 comics just came out. Yeah, I just I, I, I just checked my pro yesterday. I think it came out. Maybe. Maybe two days ago. I'm not sure. It's, it's recent. Um, so I, I was shocked. Saga's amazing. I love Saga. But I, I had it had one... Had it had one variant cover, one. If they'd have just done one awesome, like Hazel variant cover, it would have killed every title. That's all right. That's all right. Um, I don't follow Nightwing. I never really open to substitutes for Batman. What makes his story compelling to those? His story is phenomenal. We got in Bitewing. We got him in Babs. We got a lot of story with this. And it's a newer villain, right? We've got Blockbuster, but we've also got Heartless. Who's literally taking the hearts out of people? And we've got there they on 88. Was this 88? Yes, 88. Um went back to the regular story after the fear state stuff. 87 did an awesome job with doing a one whole panel spread, right? So the whole story was one continuous shot. It was so good. It was really, really cool. Um, I need Wally to get a new costume. I like the flash, but <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's keep going. Um, I, I gotta, I just still shocking about Saga. So then we've got Son of Kal-El, which is the highest non-Bat book. Batman, Catman, Woman Special. I have this because I heard such high things about it. And then I went, I, I realized it was almost 90 pages long. And I was like, is it really worth it? <laughs> I've been disappointed with Flash. Really? That's kind of shocking. I've not heard anyone say anything bad. Let me know why. I'm curious. Um, then we got DC vs. Vampires, of course. Um, then we've got Justice League vs. Legions of Superheroes. Shocking! We got a Bendis title. Um, I, I don't know who's really in Jane Bendis. I, I guess. All right. So then we've got Son of kal -El again at number 63. So we've got both of them, right? Um... I did not realize I could have added that into my list in the beginning. My apologies. Um, then we've got Justice League Incarnate, which has been good. I imagine five will probably get a little bit of a bump because there's a lot that's leading into 
This is why manga is dominating comics. What? This is why oranges hate apples. Okay. <laughs> um, manga is dominating comics because they have a very young audience, generally. Not always. And it sells like fucking hotcakes to kids. Um, and the audience for comic books are generally a bit older. Uh, we've aged with the books, right? So I imagine that'll get a little bit of a bump. This is shocking. I'm not going to lie. It's um, Seeley's book. Tim Seeley's book. I dropped it. I absolutely dropped it. Ooh. I have manga, but I'm just glad comics are moving too. I have, I actually got uh, Attack on Titan. I can't read it. Mm -mm. Oh my God. The art is so terrible. I, I, I have a couple other and I have Shonen Jump, but it is n like I have Tokyo Ghoul volume one and three, unfortunately, but the art in Attack on Titan is atrocious, but not in Tokyo Ghoul. I love Tokyo Ghoul. Why do I have to make comic book versus manga rivalry? Because that's what the agenda is. Um, and that's what you see over and over again, right? Like apples are selling, but oranges are down. That means they're bad. All those oranges are bad. I don't know. All right. So this book is not good. I'm I'm surprised. This surprises me too. Honestly, because um this was free. Same with Robbins. Both of those were free titles on DC Infinite. People wanted a physical. I mean, that's kind of fucking cool. Not gonna lie. Um, it did uh I think this was, so if we're figuring, I know Harley Quinn, um, because of my video a couple weeks ago, was selling 55. So anything we can assume above here is probably 60 and above, right? <laughs> Urban Legends 11. Um, I am Batman number five. I just got I am Batman number six. And ooh, we, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's in, officially in New York. And it should be interesting. Robin's, Robin 10. Okay, not Robin's. Um, that's a really good book too. Sailor Moon versus Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman always wins. Right. That, just because she's Wonder Woman, right? Um, Human Target. Surprising. I, but there are there are an audience for Tom King. His love everlasting was phenomenal. Joker presents a puzzle box. I and this is another one. Free on DC Infinite. Like the cost of the book is five bucks. Spend the extra two bucks. No, 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 don't highlight that. And spend the extra two bucks and get all those for free. But some people don't like digital. I get it. Justice League 71 should be. There's no excuse for Justice League not selling better. I'm sorry. There's just not. And it's not anybody's fault but Brian Michael Bendis. Justice League should be in the top 50. But Brian, Mike, he's burnt too many bridges with the fans. And it's not because he's rude, because he's not. It's not because he is, uh, you know, attacking people on his social media. No, it's because it's boring. You know what, though? I will give it to him. Joy Operations is not bad. Punchline is in that book. Puzzle. Wait, what? Fuck. Now I need to go read it. What issue? I blame Bendis on Justice League. Yes, absolutely. 100%. This breaks my heart because this story is so good. Action Comics 1039. Um, and then we've got Soul Plumber. Uh, something I never picked up. One of the very few I didn't. DC vs. Vampires again. Ben isn't on it. Of course it's selling badly. That's what I'm saying. It shouldn't be. Wait till 75. Well, now then that'll be gone. 75 will be number one. Um, DC vs. Vampires again. Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow. That's almost done. A few more weeks. Action Comics should be higher. Exactly. Okay, Swamp Thing, Green Hell. And this is another one that should be higher. Maybe it's the price point. But that book was so good. Jeff Lemire, ugh, I hate that they aged up Superboy. What a terrible decision. Yeah, talk to Tava about it. He hates it too. <laughs> um, so then we've got Wonder Girl 7, the very the the penultimate issue. And it wasn't great. That's what sucks, is you could tell the where the story was heading, and then it felt like halfway through that book, it changed. And by the end, it was like, we're all friends. Well, kind of the uh, the exquisite, right? We had a uh, Yara join with the exquisite, and we're gonna see what happens in Trial of the Amazons. But <laughs> then we have Future State Gotham, a title I personally dropped. Also, there's about five titles I don't read at DC. I guess I didn't realize there were so many. Um, Peacemaker, disturbing the peace. Please listen to me. This book is seven dollars, right? You see this. DC Infinite 
is one dollar more and it was free on there one dollar more and this is about the fourth book that i've said that upon it's such a much better deal <laughs> suicide squad another great book i wish these were higher but you know what at least they're still above the range before cancellation because suicide squad is selling well enough at 111 or 123 to get a world war three mini event by itself right so we've got titans united another great book that'll sell really good on trade and it'll read really good on trade the art is phenomenal and honestly it is so much better so much better i don't ring to titans academy i dropped it a long time ago Teen titans united is everything a titans fan could want it's so good green lantern 10 that's a shame um yeah i dropped the new Batman a long time ago. I I'm I haven't yet. I haven't got there yet. He's in New York now. I'm gonna give it a chance. I actually like um really like that. Oh, Vita Ayla. Yeah, maybe she does treat people badly. So don't buy static. Like, don't buy Nubia. Um, so we've got two, two titles where people are treated badly. Um Titans United is great art, but mass story. I haven't is there a new one out today? I don't think so. Yeah, I love it. I like this story. I actually really do. I like the Connor of it all. Like, <laughs> I, I, I like seeing Connor get a little fucking crazy, right? Um, So, Green Lantern 10, I don't know how they're going to wrap this up. I, I don't know how. It's good. It's really good. But it is huge. Like, it is cosmic proportions huge. So, But it's still selling decent, it looks like. So, I mean... The, the further we get down, the, I would say after 150 is when you should probably start to worry. Um, Task Force Z is decent. It's good. I love, 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 love me some Jason Todd. Um, It's been a little slow going. I'm curious where they're going to go from here because I feel like they're creating a secondary. So in Suicide Squad title, earmuffs if you're, you're not up to date, but they are creating... Amanda Waller's Suicide Squad. And then Rick Flagg is trying to go up against Amanda. And that's where this World War III is going to happen, right? A war on World Three, And then in Task Force Z, it's almost creating a trifecta, a third Suicide Squad. And it's like, all right, all right, let's see what happens. I guess let's see what happens. The, the story's good so far. It really is. 783, Wonder Woman's been very meh for me. Like, it's, I've kept up with it. But that's when, again, I worry about Trial of the Amazons, right? If Wonder Woman's only a 5 out of 10, and Nubia and the Amazon's a 3, and the only good book is gone, what are you going to give us? Like, Joel o. Jones, you are our only hope. Isn't that Star Wars? I think that's Star Wars. Jurgens is usually good. Uh, Blue and Gold is meh. Yeah. And that's unfortunate. It, I really thought it was going to be, like, phenomenal. Eh, it was, it's okay. Um, Harley Quinn 11, human target, of course. Nah, Flash, um, another, yeah, like I said, Flash is great. Um, Justice League 70, 143, the Justice League. This is when you learn. You finish that contract with Bendis and you get him the fuck out of there. People are telling you when Justice League should be top 25, let alone top 50. Avengers is doing the same thing. Maybe team books are not doing well right now, but like, I just, nope. The Flash is phenomenal. Um, One Dark Knight, another great book, but it's black label, so it's oversized, and it's seven bucks. Um, And it's by Jock, right? But again, black label, we've got the bat label. So Robin's number nine, Batman Catwoman, number nine. Yeah, I'm just not into it. Uh, Nightwing 87, this has got to be a second printing. So yeah, that's a second printing. That makes sense. This is a shame, too. Superman 78. A lot of people really enjoyed that. Um, Batman vs. Bigby, Wolf and Gotham. I'm not surprised. I very seriously doubt that, what's his name, Bill Willingham will be back at DC. I'm sure this is his last work. Um, for one, it wasn't great. Issue one was great. And then it just slowly and steadily went downhill. Um, and, and I don't think he'll be back anyways. Um, Blue and gold number five. That, see, that's what I mean. That's a shame. It really is because um, Stan Jurgens. So it's not always that the names will bring people in. 
You got 42 on the charts. It's kind of average. Yeah. Wait. Are you talking about Batman versus Bigby? It got 160. 160. Um, and uh it I don't know. I maybe it's me. I'm not a huge fables person. I like fables. It's okay. It could have been the fables why I don't like it. Um one star squadron. Oh. It's unreadable. I'm not going to lie. I dropped it at the first issue. It was so poorly done. Mark Russell can write. Mark Russell has shown many, many times that he can write. Mark Russell hates me, by the way. Just absolutely fucking hates me. Thinks I'm the worst. Um, But Not All Robots is so good. Like, I absolutely love Not All Robots. It's Flintstone stuff. It's Snagglepuss stuff. You give them no editorial oversight and you get one star squadron with characters like Power Girl and Red Tornado who should be fucking awesome feeling very nah. Harley Quinn 10, not surprising. I am enjoying it. Personally, I like it. The problem with Harley Quinn is Harley Quinn is sexy as fuck, right? Harley Quinn is super hot. She's supposed to be super hot. Part of her part of her character. Why would you get Riley Rossmo? Just does why? I've gotten used to it. But it's painful sometimes. Three hours later. So static season one, uh, issue five, meh. It's okay. It's not bad. It's much worse. I would say if you want a uh I I am Batman is much better than static. The first three issues of static were so good and it fell off very quickly. So we've got Flash again, 777, Action Comics. Again, that breaks my heart. It's so good. Crush and Lobo. I actually dropped that. I'm not going to lie. Um, A long time ago. I may pick it up on trade. Uh-huh. Um, Teen Titans Academy. Horrible. Horrible. King Shark. I dropped it issue two, but it is free on DC Infinite. Again. How many times am I going to say that to you guys? Newbie in the Amazons. I'm done. 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 Scooby Dooby Doo. Where are you? Uh, Icon and Rocket, much. Icon and Rocket's really good. <laughs> it is the best that Milestone has right now. Uh, Justice League Infinity, drop that also, personally. Batgirl's number one. That, that's that gotta, let's look this up. That's gotta be a second print. I do not believe for a second that Batgirl's number one got nine, 198. The top selling book besides Bat Books are, are, it was Son of Kal-El. And then we've got all those second printings of Nightwing and everything else when we look at the 200. Not bad. Not as doom and gloom as you may have heard. Far from perfect. Never claimed it was was perfect. I got a couple people saying I claimed it was perfect. I can feel, I can know, I feel like I'm